It's a new day! This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to New Day. Starting things off as an award-winning author from Portland, Oregon, whose 2010 novel, Lean on Pete, has been adapted to a major film that opens in early April. His latest book is called Don't Skip Out on Me, and in addition to being a talented writer, his band, Richmond Fontaine, has created a soundtrack available for download so you can listen to the music that evokes the book's spirit as you read along. Here to perform Don't Skip Out on Me, please welcome Willie Vlotten. Don't, don't skip out without taking me. Don't skip out. Oh, don't skip out on. Just a liability, but I can carry my own weight. Just don't skip out on me. The bus from Tona Park, well, it can take my money too. I got an She's always promised me a room Just don't run out on me while I'm sleeping My guts ain't right and my health's been failing It was your fault as much as mine We both know that's true We traveled some hard miles That's got to mean something too I can't keep my Taking me, don't skip out. Oh, don't skip out on me. Wonderful. Come on over. You. That was oh, wonderful. Oh, nice to meet Thanks you as well. Thanks a bunch. You Thank live you. in Portland now, right? Yeah, I live uh, 30 miles outside of Portland. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from originally? Reno, Nevada. I was going to say, I thought maybe West Texas. I wasn't sure. No, yeah, no. I, uh, <laughs> Reno till I was 27, and then I had to uh, escape to a, a place that liked writers and musicians, which was the Northwest. Yes, and we welcome you here. Tell us about this latest book and your main character. Um, it, it's about an old ranching couple, and, and they hire a kid, uh, uh, really a dented up guy working for him, and they want to give him the ranch. But he's it, it, the general idea is that idea of broken kids. You know, like uh, they get, some guys get so beat up as kids they can't seem to recover. Mm -hmm. And it's it's kind of a in a way a love story between an old rancher and a guy that works for him. He's trying to get the kid to realize that he's a good enough guy to take over this ranch. And that he. 
he belongs, not belongs, he's worth it. He's worth he's it. He's worth it. Uh, what does he think he wants to do instead of that? Well, he, he, you know, he was like a heavy metal kid and he got beat up a lot, so he started boxing. And um, he's one of those guys, he's, he's part Native American and he, he wants the quick fix uh, to, to the demons in his life for the mm-hmm. weight on his back. So he decides, I wanna be the thing that he thinks is the coolest, which is a Mexican boxer. <laughs> Um, Because they're never, you know, they're They're never uh, scared. They're never scared. They're they're true warriors, you know, the the machismo. Boy, that's true enough. True enough. Um, So you've done the soundtrack for this book. You've done that before with, this is your fourth novel, correct? Fifth, yeah. Fifth, okay. So you've done this before for books. Um, That is such an unbelievably unique idea. I don't know of anything else like that where the creator of the book has also created music and create a soundtrack for the reader's experience. Well, I've always loved soundtracks, you know? I mean, I, I wrote just for fun for years. From when I was 18 to 35, I just wrote novels for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't show them to anybody or anything. <laughs> um, uh, so they were, uh, the soundtracks to them um, was just because I'd, I'd always been in a band and, uh, and I love soundtrack music. So a novel takes so long and some of the subjects are so personal to me that they feel like music. And so I just start writing these little songs. And, and then eventually I'll amass, like for this one, I amass maybe 30 of them. And then I bring them to the guys in my band. And then they, they, they dress them up, give them a shave, and <laughs> put them in a new suit. That's so cool. Yeah. Tell us about the book that's become a movie. Lean on Pete is the name of a racehorse. It was a real racehorse at Portland Meadows. I was a, a, a gambler. Not a very good one, but uh, <laughs> for 15 years at Port of the Meadows. Mm-hmm. Um, I wrote two novels, one decent one, a, ba- a couple bad ones actually, uh, mm-hmm. that uh, fell, uh, <laughs> fell apart. Uh, but it was like a library that was more exciting. There's, no one goes to the track, so there was huge tables. Um, anyway, I, I had a big problem, which is I, I got crushes on horses. That and, happens. Yes. Yeah. And you, to gamble on them, you, you don't want to. So I, I started breaking up with horse racing. It started being too... Uh, I Expensive? Just, no, too sad. Like oh. following the racehorses, I oh. want to own them all. And these are low-level racehorses. So Lean on Pete is, is a story of a kid who works at a horse track, and he falls in love uh, with a, a horse named Lean on Pete, who's a, like a really slow, faded racehorse. So what are we seeing here? Yeah, that's them at a, a match race in, in Oregon. The good thing, in, um, it was all, most of the Oregon shots were shot in um, Portland Meadows, the real racetrack, and in Eastern Oregon. So it was a real uh, Northwest sort of film. Now, am I wrong, but there's a bit of melancholy in your music, in your books, <laughs> in the stories. Yeah. Um, where does that come from? Oh, I mean, that's like saying, why are your eyes brown, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, I've always had that edge to me. You know, I don't know if it's genetics or the way I was raised, but, uh, you know, I loved sad s- songs from when I was a mm-hmm. kid, uh, sad stories. They make you feel less alone. Uh, a really melancholy ballad can, can make you go, all right, I'm not so alone, I'll be all right. And a, and a really good novel, you could go, well, that, that person made it, and maybe I'll make it too. Right. And I think I always wanted to write novels where if somebody read it, they'd go, oh, well, I'm not going to give up because the kid in uh, Lean on Pete didn't give up. He managed. He managed. Um, what's next? What are you working on? I'm always working. You know, I always try to write half a book before my new book comes out in case everybody hates what I'm working on. <laughs> uh, then you can say, hey, I've got the next one lined exactly. up. Exactly. You know, yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's a good way not to quit. Uh, so I'm always working on something. I like that. Not so melancholy after all. That's an act of hope. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, you know I, I try to leave all my, my dark thoughts or my heavy thoughts thoughts in the books and uh, Good for you. no one wants to be around a sad sack <laughs> guy so uh, I leave that where it should be. That's awesome. Thank you so much for well, being with us much. today. Appreciate it. Willie will be back in Western Washington in April for more signings and events in Bellingham, Olympia and the Orcas Island Literary Festival which is super cool. We have a link to all of these on our website. Please go check them out. After the break some top tips to help us deal with stress and spring cleaning our souls. I kid you not. Back in a moment. Yeah.